Hello, welcome back to New Zero Land. So a kind of scary thing happened when I was riding this. I twisted the throttle and the bike went in reverse. And it's not like I had it in the wrong mode. Zeros don't have reverse. It's not an Energica. So I turned it off, rolled it around, tried again. And this time it went forward about two feet and then throttle just cut out. After that, it wouldn't move at all. Like no flashy air lights on the dash, no explanation. My bike was dead. So before I get into this, I don't want to keep making these videos in my garage. Like I would much rather be out riding this bike, doing normal vlogs and shooting videos around New Zealand. But obviously something's wrong. And somebody noticed in my last video that I wasn't my normal, happy, excited self. And part of that's because my bike is broken. But another part of that is because I'm not really sure how to talk about it. Whenever I say something negative, like one of the parts on my Zero failed it becomes bigger than just me and my bike. People take this as a reflection of all electric motorcycles and they say stuff like, well, electrics aren't ready yet or zero is a crap. And that's not true. So I kind of just wanted to fix the bike and not tell anybody about it. But this time, unfortunately, it's something I can't fix myself. And that also wouldn't be me honestly sharing my experience owning an electric motorcycle. You know, the good, the bad, the unbiased, like, roller coaster of emotions of actually living with one of these and I feel like that's why you guys watch my channel you want honesty and as much as I want everyone to go electric and buy these bikes this is part of it this might not be a problem you run into but I did so I owe it to you to talk about it anyway I just had to get that out of the way so what's wrong with my bike after we towed it home my buddy Simon came over to help diagnose the problem he made his own cable that hooks up to the port above the motor so he could plug in a laptop and see what's going on how cool is this right Totally early 2000s ECU tuning days. Downloaded all the logs and the bike didn't seem to like that. It's like we were performing an exorcism. Hopefully we can fix this thing. It's just cogging non-stop. And if you move the tire, um, which we won't, it makes the most horrible noise. Someone's smacking it with a hammer from the inside. Yeah. So we looked through the logs and you guessed it, a whole bunch of faults. The throttle cutting out, the bike going in reverse, all of this points to the motor encoder. The encoder is like this sensor inside the motor that allows the controller to send a signal to it to tell it how fast to spin. So like imagine twisting your throttle this much spins the motor this much. It's it's all these signals going through. And so when your motor spins in reverse, that means the encoder is either misaligned, so the signal's off or it's damaged or maybe maybe the encoder fell off. I don't know, I'm gonna open up the motor and find out. But can I just say how dangerous this could have been? Like imagine Jen is riding home from work and it suddenly goes in reverse and just like, I don't know, that's freaking scary. So I took the bike apart. Now it can't hurt anybody. Uh, here's a montage of all that. Well, the rear shock is leaking, so maybe we hit something that jolted the motor and dislodged the encoder or something? I don't know, but that's another part I need to fix. And of course, every bolt holding the motor in came out super easily, except for this one. And that one bolt is a different size. Why gotta be like this, Zero? But as frustrating as it was dealing with all these problems, my buddy Panera reminded me that, dude, you're in your garage taking apart an electric motorcycle. How futuristic is that? So I'm less bummed and more excited now. So now that I've disassembled my bike and I have the motor out, things get even more frustrating. That's heavy. Let's say I open up this motor and realign the encoder so it's correct, so the signal's right, uh, or even swap in a new encoder if this encoder's damaged. Or let's say I don't know what I'm doing and I decide to buy a whole new motor. I can't just swap in a new motor because the motor and controller have to be synced. This way, when you twist the throttle, the controller knows exactly how the encoder is aligned and the motor spins perfectly. Well, that whole motor controller syncing thing is something I can't do. As Zero owners, we can't do that. Not unless we have the license to the software that Zero uses to do all the motor commissioning stuff, and we also know how to do that. So I ran through all my options, 
Buying a whole new motor and controller synced together from AF1 Racing, for example, is possible, but it would cost 7,000 New Zealand dollars, which is like almost half the value of the bike. So no, if this truly is the end and I can't repair the bike, maybe I can port it out to the 15 other zero owners in the country. The battery is still in great condition. Maybe I can sell it to somebody doing a conversion project or they could use it as solar storage. I don't know. Or maybe I just roll the bike down a cliff. But what kind of end would it be for the bike that started it all? I've had the zero for so long. It was my first electric vehicle. I have to fix it. I think you all agree that it deserves more than a fiery death at the bottom of a cliff. All right, so how do I go about this? Like. There's no way I can take the bike to get worked on in New Zealand, and it's probably too expensive to ship it all the way back to the States. And who knows how long Zero would have it. Let's just say I've heard stories and I don't want to go through that. Could I ship just my motor and controller to a dealer and have them fix it and send it back? Sadly, no. I got in contact with one, the most popular one, to see if this was an option. You know, could I send my stuff to you and have you fix it? Or could I send my controller to you, buy a whole new motor, have them sync together and send back? Sorry, no, can't help you. That was kind of surprising, but okay. It's okay, I don't care, because I made some awesome friends over the years, electric motorcycle friends with connections. You guys know who you are. Within 10 minutes, I was chatting with a dude in California who had a spare motor he could sell me and also had the skills and the know-how and the licensing to the software to sync his motor to my controller. So I've already shipped my controller to him and it's being sorted as we speak. So I'm back to being excited and happy and just like over the moon because my bike is going to run again. Like I'm going to fix it. I don't have to throw it down a cliff. I'm not sure when the next video is going to be, but hopefully in that video, I'll put the bike back together and get it running again. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.